High in the mountains of Colorado's Mosquito Range, the South Platte River is born. It's that river system that supplies most of the water to the millions of people living in the Denver Metro and many more in Northeast Colorado. Nearly 80% of the water in the South Platte comes from snow melts. So when you hear that snowpack is above average, that's a big deal. And the 2019-2020 season was well above average. That water is replenishing the front range and water managers on the Eastern Plains envisioned a good runoff season for them as well, but that's not happening. And I always say that the Conditions change on a dime on the South Platte, and, and they've changed from, from pretty good to, uh, to going into a pretty dry year so far. Joe Frank with the Lower South Platte Water Conservancy District says that abnormally high temperatures and a lack of spring rain has driven up the demand for water, leaving low river flows on the plains. The water in the South Platte River uh, works very hard. A lot of times a uh, drop of water that starts at the headwaters of the South Platte is diverted and, and used and re-diverted up to seven times before it reaches the state line. Corey DeAngelis also manages South Platte water. He says the demand is also high downstream in Nebraska. A compact we have with our neighbors says we must allow 120 cubic feet per second to cross the state line at Julesburg between April and October. Between our obligation to Nebraska and the high demand on the front range, there's been very little water available to those on the northeast plains of Colorado. And this week, that snowmelt is finally showing up here at the state line in Julesburg. The gauge here shows there's just enough water to meet our compact with Nebraska and allow Coloradans on the eastern plains to also pull water out of the South Platte. This surplus is likely to be short lived though. Water managers out here are expecting that there will be no water available for junior water rights holders from July all the way through September, unless there's a significant increase in the rains. From Julesburg, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.